How to create drop down menu on Weebly quick and easy. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add your very own drop down menu on Weebly or Squarespace, and it's going to be very easy and very simple. It's the most easiest technique when it comes to your e commerce or website editing, and I'm going to walk you through all of it. Just make sure to watch this video till the end and listen to all my instructions so you properly know how to add a drop down menu using Weebly. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First of all, obviously you're going to want to go to your Weebly.com or your Squarespace account because we know that Weebly is integrated uh, with Squarespace. Now, once you go to your Squarespace or Weebly, what you're going to want to do is you're going to sign in and you're going to come to whatever website or page you're creating. So let's say I'm over here on this website or page. Now, how to add a drop down menu over here. So basically a drop down menu is like this over here. So let me click preview and show you. If I click on this, look at that here, it opens these drop downs. So how do you add that? Let me show you. Now, first of all, obviously what you're going to need to do is you're going to add pages. So as you can see, I've added these pages and I've linked them to this drop down over here. So how do you add pages? Obviously, you're going to click on add page and you're just going to add, add a page. That's how simple it is. Now, how do you navigate it to the drop down? So all you need to do is click on the header over here and click on navigation, click on navigation links. And once you go there, you're going to click on add navigation link, select the page you want to add to your navigation link. And once you do that, all you're going to need to do is uh, you're going to hold these and drag them right under your home page. And once you've done that, you're just going to go back, you're going to click on done. And once you do that, it's going to automatically add a drop down menu for you, as you can see. So there you go. That is how easy it is to add a drop down menu using Weebly. I hope this video was helpful to you and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.